Chase Edmonds signed a two-year, $12.6 million deal with the Miami Dolphins this offseason, which ranks as 17th in running back AAV. That's in front of Josh Jacobs, CEH, Chris Carson, DeAndre Swift, Jonathan Taylor, and Miles Sanders. He was paid this money to presumably take over as what I assume to be the starting running back job with the Dolphins. In this now incredibly potent offense that should have no trouble moving the ball, I think that makes him a legitimate threat to be a RB1 in fantasy this season. Before we get into his situation, let's take a look at his attributes so you know what kind of talent you're dealing with. Edmonds is a 5'9", fourth round pick out of Fordham. He wasn't some first or second round back, so he had to fight for his roster spot every season and earned himself a third down role throughout his four year career. While he is fast and runs a 4'5'40", it's his agility that makes him an elite talent and such an incredible pass catching option out of the backfield. Let's take a look. As a third down back, last year is probably the best comp we have for him. He was injured much of the year and only played in 12 games. While he technically started, it was James Conner who would get the goal line carries and primary rushing carries. Kenyon Drake would be Edmonds Vulture in 2020, so he's never really had the chance to be the guy. Even so, Edmonds averaged over 5 yards per carry with a long of 54 yards and converted 53 targets into 43 receptions, 311 yards, and 7 yards per catch. Edmonds averaged 20 PPR points per game, highlighted by a 27-point PPR performance. Mike McDaniel is the new head coach of the Dolphins and is a disciple of Kyle Shanahan's zone running scheme that seems to crown RB1 talent out of whoever gets the majority of carries in the system. Since 2017, the 49ers running game has performed well. In 2021, they had 499 carries with over 2,100 yards and 22 touchdowns. In 2020, they had 437 carries with 1,900 yards and 19 touchdowns. And in 2019, they had 498 carries, 2,300 yards, and 23 touchdowns. Whoever is the RB1 in this system is going to be a popular fantasy asset. Miami also bolstered their offensive line with the addition of Taron Armstead as well. On top of the rushing aspect, Chase Edmonds spent 141 snaps out wide or in the slot in 2020, and 94 snaps in 2021. With Jalen Waddle, Tyreek Hill, Chase Edmonds, and Mike Gusecki in space, defenses are going to have a horrendous time picking who they'll need to target. This is going to be a quick-hitting offense that runs via short passing and then hits you over the head with long throws. There should be plenty of pass-catching opportunities for Edmonds, which is gold in PPR, but plenty of red zone opportunities as well for Edmonds to get those rushing touchdowns that have been vultured from him for his entire career. Miami has upgraded virtually everywhere on offense. They don't need Tua to be great to move the ball, and that raises Edmonds' stock immensely. Edmonds isn't a sleeper anymore. He's a bona fide RB1, and you should act accordingly. Before you leave, check out this message from our sponsors at Odds Jam. They make an incredible product that will help you maximize your prop betting profit margins, and you can get a free trial in the description below. Thanks for watching. This is really important to understand because unlike other markets, the sports betting market is very inefficient. You have hundreds of bookmakers in this global ecosystem, largely setting odds independently, firing a bunch of algorithms, trying to balance supply and demand on both sides and update their odds. And this yields a lot of interesting inefficiencies, which we can look at right here. Here's an example from Odds Jam of just how crazy the sports betting market is. You have all these books running around, trying to set their lines independently. So here we can see an example from the Yankees Twins game tomorrow. Um, you know, the Twins, for example, are plus 180 on BetMGM. They're plus 215 on Fox Bet. Could you ever imagine placing a bet plus 180 odds on BetMGM? If you knew you were getting plus 215 on Fox Bet, it's absurd.